If you a girl and you going through your dudes accounts, I hope the next time you log in, you and your computer get a goddamn virus. Let me start off by saying this shit off the rip. Most of the time you think some shit is going on, it probably is. But I'm talking about the times when your crazy ass is wrong. First of all, we're men. And as men, we have dicks. Ladies, you know what that's like having a dick? Nope, sure don't. But allow me to try to explain it to you. It's like having a magic wand. Can you imagine having this big, black, beautiful wand and you only allowed to do one trick with it? Over and over again, every fucking night. Exactly. Soon pulling a rabbit out of the fucking hat isn't fun anymore. So I say that to say this. Sometimes niggas flirt online. So? Most of the bitches we tweeting and Facebook and we never go meet. These hoes live in the Czech Republic. But look, it's fun to feel alive. Fun ass, somebody laughing, your jokes. It's fun to get Snapchats of some titties that's not the same silver dollar pancake nipple areolas we gotta see every goddamn day. It's harmless. We flirt, we see some nice ass and titties, then our dick gets hard, and it's better for us to fuck you with it. See what I'm saying? It's a win-win. Everybody wins. But no, what do you do? You go running through nigga shit. Ah, going through their Facebook accounts when they leave their computers open, going through their emails, checking their phone. That's why we take our shits with us everywhere we go. They had to make waterproof iPhones for niggas to even start taking showers again. It was some stinky motherfuckers walking around here for a minute. You should hang out sometime, take my number down. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh shit. What? I left my phone at home with my girl. I Instagram you. Shit. You see that? We having this conversation. Tell me, what are you getting out of going through a nigga shit? Please enlighten me. You already know what's in there. You know what's in there. What the fuck are you snooping for? Let me ask you a question. If there was a house that you was 100% sure had a ghost in it, would you still go in that bitch? And if you do, I hope your ass see 100 titties and booty shots that scare the shit out of you. Don't go looking for shit because most likely you're going to find it. What you gonna do then, huh? What you gonna do? You gonna leave? You gonna leave? Really, bitch? Really? All this good dick? You, you, you just gonna leave? They go find some other dick that's not as good and a nigga that treat you worse? Come on. You're not gonna leave. All you gonna do is cry and bitch. That's that's it. It ain't like we gonna be like, okay, baby, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna talk to the girls anymore. As soon as you go to the bathroom to fucking clear up this mascara mess that you done made, we gonna be right back texting Shorty. Hey yo, I gotta hit you later, my bitch tripping. Hey, if she call you, just tell her that we were just playing. Now what about when you're wrong though? What about that? And when y'all start acting all crazy and shit? Who the fuck is mine? And why is this bitch calling you? Uh, my mother who gave me life? I don't give a fuck if that bitch gave you your goddamn umbilical cord. Tell that hoe that I said quit calling you. Look ladies, if you gotta get your niggas passwords, hack his phone, check his shit, then just leave. And if you not gonna leave, then shut the fuck up. Because all you doing is giving us both a headache. And you know if I got a headache, then that just means no dick for you. A nigga can't bust a nut with a migraine. Now since we gonna do what we gonna do anyway, you can exercise your two options. You can either peace the fuck out, or you can put on a blindfold. Hey, so as long as your man is taking care of what he's supposed to be taking care of, then you should just rest in that. Because all you gonna do is dry yourself crazy. Unless you go go get another nigga who gonna do the same shit and probably worse, like maybe whoop your ass or something. Stay out of nigga phones unless you paying a Verizon bill. And if so, then you can be in that bitch as much as you want because uh, you own it and that nigga's a loser. You're welcome. Oh, on a side note, 
Follow me on Vine. I'm doing six second trailers of videos that I probably do on YouTube in the future. So you can be the first ones to see it if you check me out there. And click the damn like button, man. Y'all niggas acting like pressing this damn button and sharing is like you go ruin your 401k or something. Nigga, this is free. Stop being so damn Drake. Peace. Wait a minute, I don't trust no hold up. Wait a minute, let me slow up. So what? Since you wanna be blunt, you and your C's go get rolled up.